Dr. Brian Scott with you. We are studying insights to the end times or the last days. We know that time is running out on this earth. And uh, even the doomsday clock says we're only 90 seconds away from midnight. We know that Jesus Christ is going to return to this earth to set up his kingdom to rule and reign for a thousand years. It's called the millennial reign of Christ. It could be stated prophesied in the book of Genesis with six days of creation and one day of rest, the one day of rest coming at the end of 6,000 years of earth, which we're fast approaching. One of the six signs of these last days and the perilous times in 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 2 is unholiness or being unholy. This has really intensified in the last number of years. Christians and Christianity are on a collision course with the progressive thinking of the day. Um, I've heard it said that Christianity is one of the most endangered species on the earth. And it's so, it really is. In 1970, the United States um, made a decision at the presidential level to remove the US dollar from the gold standard. It had been pegged to the gold standard. Gold was valued at $35 an ounce. So it was taken off the gold standard. As a result, the value of gold changed, the value of the US dollar changed. And over the 50 years since that occurred, the US dollar has continued to devalue and devalue and devalue. I've read that it's worth approximately four cents compared to the dollar value it had in the 1970s. It's down to about four cents. Its buying power has been reduced by 96%. How did this happen? People weren't even aware of it. Things just continue to roll on. We saw an inflation rate. We accepted that as normal. We saw interest rates. We saw them climb as normal. We saw increases in our income uh, getting smaller and smaller. We took that as normal. So. It's very much alike or similar to cooking a frog. Put him in tepid water. He'll swim around. Heat it up very slowly until it's a boil and then you have uh, boiled frog's legs. But he didn't know it was occurring. It occurred consistently, slowly. It's the same thing with the dollar's devaluation. But here's the interesting thing. It's the same thing with the de valuation of moral standards, Bible standards, Christian standards in the land. That's been occurring over the last 50 years in a similar fashion. We've been in a constant decline. We haven't noticed it, we've accepted it. We, we haven't seen how the value of, or the definition of sin has changed. It used to be pretty black and white, but not anymore. A lot of what we never accepted in in our society 50 years ago is the regular norm today. Christian standards are, are have gone by the boards. People are arrogant, they're insolent, they're haughty. They reject the word of God. They're unholy. You know, there are ministers who even refuse to use the Bible in their churches and other ministers are saying there's no point in using the red letters of the Bible spoken of in the four gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John because Jesus was teaching under the old covenant, under the law. And with his death, we entered into the new covenant, the age of grace. So anything he taught is of no use to us. Unholiness has ruled the land and it's gaining in its strength. Where did it start? When we became lovers of self and lovers of money, became our own gods and no longer needed the Lord. We're going to uh, look at some questions and answers in our next session. I hope you don't miss it. See you then. Bye.